to another episode of The Down Low. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Archon Type B handgun. You're probably rolling your eyes thinking, oh, I've already read about this on Recoil. I've seen a bunch of YouTube videos. Sure, we know. But you know what? We thought we'd play around with it on the range and tell you some things we really like about it, some things we're kind of meh about, and some things we don't like about it at all. So stay tuned and watch the video. The first thing that sort of drew our attention about the Archon Type B, and we saw this at SHOT Show last year, is the, the ultra low bore axis, right? So this allows you to get your hand way up on the grip and it helps control the muzzle flip. Everyone already knows that. And that's kind of cool, right? It, it's sort of nice to have all these features right out of the box. It's got great stippling here. It's got, they call it grip mapping technology, which just really is a fancy word for stippling. It's got a really cool trigger. I like this sort of flat face with a, with a sharp angle trigger and pretty nice sights with a, you know, a black rear sight and a uh, red fiber optic sight in the front. The Archon Type B has very solid controls. It's got a metal uh, mag release, a little bit of a mag flare, mag well flare at the bottom. It's got a pretty decent slide release, great trigger. All in all, really good controls. Another cool thing about the Archon Type B is it comes with four magazines. Now, that's nothing to stare down your nose at. That's kind of cool, right? Because magazines are fairly expensive. So, you know, you have a fairly high uh, retail price on this, about 850 bucks. That's a lot to spend on a, on a handgun. But coming with, you know, four magazines and, and a really nice packaging and all that kind of stuff, you know, they try and make the most out of, uh, out of your dollar spent there. Now the Archon has an interesting background. Apparently it was a joint Russian-Italian design that ended up being manufactured in Germany. There's a really great article in Recoil about all this um, that uh, our friend Rob Curtis wrote, and he gets into the kind of the history of this. It originally was gonna be imported uh, by a, a company called Arsenal. There was a, a copyright or trademark dispute on that, and so Arsenal sort of changed it, its name to Archon, and they had to restamp uh, the firearms and all this kind of back and forth and rigor and roll. And all we really care about is how the darn thing shoots, right? So let's, let's give it a whirl. Shoots pretty good. It, it, I, I'm able to clearly control the muzzle a lot better. In fact, I really like the stippling here uh, on the frame itself, I, I like that kind of thumb index up here. Um, I'm, you know, I'm pretty close. I mean, I'm at, uh, I don't know, six to eight feet from the target and I'm all in the A zone uh, and I'm able to transition across. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of a really high grip. In fact, I've got sort of the scars, uh, the Glock slide bite to prove it. Um, I like having this really big beaver tail here. Uh, the controls are nice, although they're kind of biting a little bit. And as you saw, the, the magazines, they're steel magazines, which is awesome, right? So they're, they're heavier and they'll drop out of the mag well a lot easier. Uh, so that's nice too. You saw on that uh, magazine um, change, that mag change that uh, dropped out pretty quick. I still had to kind of pull the slide back. Sometimes, you know, when you put the new mag in, that slide will go forward and that's awfully nice. But um, you know, the sights are good too. I mean, this is like a pretty standard kind of deal. I mean, you know, you want to have that nice red front sight with a, you know, I like running with a black, if I'm not running a red dot, I like running with a black rear notch. But um, yeah, pretty, pretty fun gun to shoot. Uh, you know, we'll try and run like a slow-mo and we'll, we'll try and see if we can catch that muzzle flip at all. pretty good. I like those sights. Sights are nice. Yeah, that works pretty good. I gotta be honest. I like it, but I don't like that it doesn't have a red dot notch here. Here's the deal. 
I'm you know, in my late 40s, my vision is kind of not that great. I still love shooting sports and I'm telling you as you as you've seen from other Gear Scout videos, that that pistol red dot is it really is awesome and it ups your game significantly. The idea that a, a gun this cool with this kind of construction at this price point that it doesn't have an optic mount kind of drives me a little bit crazy. That's why it's unlikely that this would be in my inventory for very long. I'm a red dot guy. This doesn't have a mount for a red dot unless there's an aftermarket slide that has it that I'm not aware of. Let me know in the comments. But if to make this thing a bang up handgun for all kind of situations, it's gonna need a red dot. Thanks for watching this episode of The Down Low. As always, you can find more content like this at gearscout.com, on Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube. Be sure to watch the next video right there. And also check out the Gear Scout podcast on your favorite podcast app.